Well, the Ram revolution is officially here. So yes, we're gonna be talking about Ram's new EV truck. Before we get in this video though, as always, if you're gonna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. And then if you wanna see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. Let's get into it. So let's talk about this all new Ram EV truck. First off, the truck is going to be officially unveiled on the 5th of this month, and I will make another update video once it's been officially unveiled. Now, I'm gonna probably wait a day or two after the unveiling because I wanna go over all of the specs, and I just wanna kind of like deep dive into the truck a little bit, at least from a personal standpoint, so that I can see if it really does stack up against, you know, stuff like the Ford F-150 Lightning, you know, the GM trucks that are coming out, like the Silverado EV, the GMC Sierra EV, and then obviously the Tesla Cybertruck that we've been waiting centuries to finally be released and so just expect another video in a few days after the release however let's go over these specs that we know so far so ram has said that they are targeting a 500 mile range with this new ram ev truck which is substantially more than the lightning the lightning is at like 320 miles gm says that the silverado ev and the gmc siri ev are going to be right around 400 miles and so this is like 200 miles more than the ford and then 100 miles more than the GM siblings. And so it looks like this, you know, Ram EV truck is going to just completely destroy everything in the segment. Now, the next thing is that Ram plans on making sure that this truck is just as powerful as the competition so that, you know, it's able to be best in class in every single way that it can be. So expect the power figures to exceed what you see with General Motors and with Ford. So right now, Ford is like 563 horsepower, 775 pound feet torque and then General Motors is like over it's like what 664 horsepower something like that um, and tons of torque so expect this Ram 1500 EV to be somewhere in the 600 horsepower range with you know maybe standard power or with some overboost functions similar to what General Motors does and then expect the torque to be way over 800 pound feet with this truck and then you know towing capacity is going to be similar to you know other half ton trucks and then you know frankly other half ton EVs so somewhere in the 10 to 12,000 pound range and then payload is is, you know, again, also going to be, you know, competitive with all of the other EV trucks. So expect it to be somewhere in the, you know, mid teens with a loaded up truck. If you get like a base model truck, it's gonna be close to like 2000 pounds again to kind of match up with the Lightning and the Silverado EV. Um, but the big news is that this truck is going to have independent suspension. That's just what you do with an electric vehicle. Um, similar to, again, the Lightning, it's, you know, going to have a dual electric motor setup. Um, that's just, you know, the least expensive route for Ram to go to make sure that this truck is still somewhat affordable for regular people. And so to basically get the most out of that setup, you're gonna to wanna to do independent front and rear suspension. So this will be like what the first Ram truck that ever has independent suspension all around, which will be, Pretty interesting, but I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing because I've driven the Lightning. I haven't driven the new Silverado EV, but the Lightning, it drives amazingly well. It's very comfortable. And again, it still has a pretty solid payload capacity. And then the next thing is going to be just the overall looks and interior with this truck. So, you know, you guys, see you know the thumbnail and all that kind of stuff that's what was released by ram and so you know you can kind of fill in the blanks it's gonna somewhat look like a ram but it's definitely not gonna look like the you know gas powered truck that we have now it's a lot smoother and everything so it looks like ram is taking more of the i guess silverado approach where they're you know basically evolving the truck quite a bit more to make it so it's aerodynamically efficient and just everything works for the whole ev setup and then when it comes to the interior it's you know going to be what we all know and love Ram for. It's gonna be extremely luxurious. It's also gonna have a lot of modern tech. I mean, if you look at the 2023 Ram 1500s, you know, they've got that 12 inch display. You've got the new digital gauge cluster. You got a rear view camera mirror. So expect like all of the cool new tech we're seeing in the gas powered Rams to carry over into this EV. Now they might kind of like dress it up a little bit differently to make it look again, a little bit fancier for the EV, but just expect a lot of technology to be very similar with the truck and then just like you know other evs you know it's going to have a lot of you know self self driving stuff so like adaptive cruise control steering assist which hopefully ram gives this a steering assist system that is similar to the new jeep grand cherokee where it actually keeps you center in the lane and then also just has like the touch where you just touch the steering wheel you don't have to like grab onto the steering wheel if they do that that will i think that'll be more than enough for what most truck buyers will want 
But that leads us into some downsides with this new Ram 1500 EV, and it's not necessarily the truck itself, it's just electric trucks. So we all know at this point that the Ford F-150 Lightning is a great daily driver truck and you can haul some stuff over a short distance, but when it comes to long distance towing, it just can't do it. There are so many towing tests with the truck where you basically have a truck that's supposed to get 320 miles of range on a charge and while towing, it gets like 70 miles of range with a charge. Now with this Ram 1500 EV, well, it is gonna have 500 miles of range. So that means that towing, it's gonna to have more range as well compared to the Lightning. But I mean, if you just do the math, you're gonna go from you know 70 miles that you have in the Lightning to probably what, 140 maybe in this Ram EV. Maybe I'm even being a little bit too generous. And so it's still not going to be the long distance tower that we want in an electric pickup truck to make it so an electric pickup truck is actually like practical for you know a lot of towing applications. Now for people that are gonna to be towing short distances, then yeah, it'll be great. Like if you're just going from one end of the neighborhood to the next, then you'll be perfectly uh, fine. And then the other thing that is concerning is going to be the battery size with this truck. So with current battery technology, the only way to really get more range is by simply putting a larger battery in a vehicle, especially something that's as large as a pickup truck. Look at what General Motors had to do with the new Hummer EV to make it so that thing had over 300 miles of range. They had to put an enormous battery pack over 200 kilowatt hours. Now, I don't think that the battery pack in the new Ram 1500 EV is gonna be quite that big, but it's surely gonna be over 100 kilowatt hours to get that 500 mile range. It might even be you know mid 100s. Again, I don't think it's gonna be quite into the 200 range because this truck with the design, everything looks like it's quite a bit more aerodynamically efficient compared to the block of cheese that the Hummer EV is. And then obviously it's not gonna have the crazy big 35 inch tall, you know, off-road tires that'll also destroy the range as well. I mean, if you guys don't know, like go look at the range with a Rivian R1T with street tires versus the off-road tires. And there's actually a pretty substantial difference. And so I'm sure there's a lot of stuff that Ram is going to do to make it so this truck can get that range outside of making the battery pack enormous, but it's still probably gonna be a pretty big battery pack. So that means that charging times are going to be slower. And that means the truck's probably gonna be pretty dang heavy. I mean, we're looking at a truck that it won't be, you know, 9,000 pounds like the Hummer EV, but I wouldn't be shocked if it was, you know, it's for sure gonna be over 6,000 pounds, but you know, maybe seven, 8,000 pounds. So this is gonna be a half ton truck that weighs as much as some heavy duty trucks. And so that'll be just, just a pretty interesting situation. However, with all of that being said, I'm actually really excited about this new Ram electric pickup truck because I think it's gonna move the ball forward in the right direction because it's showing that a manufacturer is focusing on building an electric pickup truck that is better at doing truck things. Again, it's gonna have more range and you know, I'm just, guessing that Ram's gonna release something with this truck that's gonna make it so the towing range is just better than it should be, you know, compared to the specs that we see with the other pickup trucks while towing. I think they're gonna do something there because, you know, everyone has just been blasting forward for the towing with the Lightning. And so, again, Ram has said that they're waiting to release this truck so they make sure that they release a product that's really solid and, you know, we'll just have to see, but I, I, again, I'm pretty optimistic overall. However, it's still an electric pickup truck. And so it, ultimately in the, the day, it's gonna be a novelty like the Lightning. The people that are buying this are not buying this because they wanna do a bunch of truck stuff with it. They're gonna be buying it because they wanna have the electric Ram pickup truck that happens to have better specs than the other pickup trucks at the market upon release. But I also think that the initial sales are not gonna be as strong as what Ram thinks, and they're not gonna be as strong as the F-150 Lightning, because when the Lightning was released, everyone was like super hyped because they're like, oh, electric pickup truck, this is the coolest thing ever. And then once reality hits that, again, you can't tow with it really because you can't get anywhere, and then the truck loses a ton of range in the cold, all these things you have to deal with with an EV kind of brought people back to reality, and now people are like, yeah, we're not so sure about that F-150 Lightning thing or electric pickup trucks in general. And so because there's a sour taste in buyers' mouths, I think that's gonna kind of translate over to lower sales for Ram. And the other thing that's gonna go against them is frankly gonna be pricing. If you look at pricing on the new F-150 Lightning, it started at $40,000 upon release, but now a base model is well over $50,000. It's like almost $60,000 at this point. And a loaded up one, you're like $100,000. And so don't be shocked if this 
Ram EV gets released with an MSRP starting over $50,000, maybe even over $60,000 and a fully loaded one well over $100,000. So again, this is basically going to be, you know, a mall crawling novelty for rich buyers that just want to be the person with the electric pickup truck that can basically win drag races against Lamborghinis and all that kind of stuff. And so again, nothing against Ram. I think that they build amazing trucks. And again, I think that this truck with everything that they've said so far is most likely going to destroy the Lightning. It's going to destroy the Silverado EV. But at the end of the day, Ram is limited by the technology we have with electric vehicles right now. And so electric pickup trucks, are th that's just they're, they're limited based on what they are. Let me know what you guys think about the new Ram EV. Let me know if you would consider purchasing one or if you're more excited about the new Hurricane engine that's going in the Ram 1500. If you ask me, I I'm more excited about that engine than the new EV truck because... <laughs> That engine will allow the truck to actually tow more than probably, you know, 100 miles or so. And from everything that I've researched into that engine, it's also going to be super reliable as well. So I think that'll be the thing that'll be exciting to review this year. But anyways, that's going to sum things up and...